My life turned upside down since then. I couldn't go back to work when you left. I wanted to go to Dad and tell him that you were going to be married. It seemed impossible not to tell him. He loved you so much. Annie. We did a terrible thing. We did a terrible thing. We could never be forgiven. Not even to send him a card at Christmas. I didn't see him once since I got home from the war. Annie, you, you don't know what was done to that man. You don't know what happened. Dad came to work that day. The night foreman came to him and showed him the cylinder heads. They were coming out of the process with defects. There was something wrong with the process. So Dad went directly to the phone and called here and told Joe to come down right away. But the morning passed. No sign of Joe. So Dad called again. By this time, he had over a hundred defectives. The army was screaming for stuff and Dad didn't have anything to ship. So Joe told him, on the phone, he told him to weld, cover up the cracks in any way he could and ship them out. Dad was afraid. He wanted Joe there if he was going to do it. But he can't come down. He's sick. Sick. He suddenly gets the flu. Suddenly. But he promised to take responsibility. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? On the telephone, you can't have responsibility. In a court, you can always deny a phone call. And that's exactly what he did. They knew he was a liar. The first time, but in the appeal, they believed that rotten lie. Now Joe is a big shot. And now father is the patsy. Now what are you going to do? Eat his food? Sleep in his bed? Answer me, what are you going to do?